All right, somebody asked me today in the, in the I was going to say in the real world, but in the, th the, the real world is the 5D, but in the 3D, somebody asked me in the 3D how I decoded the alphabet. I've talked about this before, but it's hard to really explain it unless I just focus on maybe one or two letters and show you how you can go back to the, you can do it two ways, and you have to do it two ways, really. Let's talk about the letter M and the letter A, and maybe the letter E. So the letter M looks, the shape of it looks like water, right? And you go back to the Phoenician script is where all our alphabet in the West came from. Just like China, their symbol means has a meaning, like a symbol might be a tree. Well, our letters, the letter M, is like the water. The letter A looks like a temple. So if you go back to the letter A in Phoenician script, it's the bullock. And what was the bullock? And the symbol has a temple with a triangle on top, right? It was a sacrifice. They did blood sacrifices. So the letter A is the blood. But there's another way that you can see it besides just the Phoenician script. And you can do this with all the letters. And you have to do it with all the letters to see the code. You have to do it. It's not a maybe, it's an absolute. The letter A and the letter M is what? Ma. When the baby comes out, the baby says Ma. M is water, A is blood. I'm giving you a holographic decode. You, you're in a hologram, just like, you're, just like when you take the Bible and you rightly divide it. You take the hologram, which is the 3D script. You're in a 3D version of the Bible. So you take the, the places all around you where it's used. So when the babies come out of the, the mother, the ma, the baby says ma. Why? Because M is water, A is blood. The woman, water breaks, she, blood comes out, and water comes out during the birthing. And when, so let's say, okay, so the, in order for her to have a baby, there has to be a flow, right? There has to be a blood flow. So the A is the blood, represents the flow. And also there has to be a cycle. There has to be a cycle. For her to have a baby, she has to have a cycle. And what is the cycle? The letter M, so when you look at the ocean, it has waves, just like a sine wave. It might be a square. All waves are a sine wave, whether it's a, 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 a T wave, a, a tooth wave, a sine wave, a square wave, or any kind of wave is still a sine wave. You, in mathematics, you can, you can make any kind of wave with si a combination of sine waves. So M is the sine wave because it's the water. And so the, the moon goes around the Earth However, whether it's a round earth, flat earth, whatever, the moon does a 28-day cycle which causes the ocean waves, the water, the sea. It's called a sea because you can see via the sine wave. You can see what's happening all around you. The ocean. To see. The crest. the crest of the wave up and down up and down so there's a crest at the top and there's a crest at the bottom there's waves in the ocean so the the, the ma sheen the ma sheen is the sine wave and so the sine wave is built into the human you have a sleep cycle you have a reproduction cycle you have a food cycle you have cycles and and, and when you're in the in so you got the ma creatures the MA creatures before your spirit field, and then you got the MAE creatures after you get the spirit. And so once you move into the spirit realm, from the flesh mind to the spirit realm, the cycles don't control you, you control them. 
now, now there's certain cycles that are going to control you because you're in this body. You got to eat a, a certain routine. You got to sleep a routine. Uh, you know, you know what I'm talking about. There's certain things you have to do in the in the natural, but the secret to the cycle in the mental, the spiritual, and even in the physical, because you can fast. Some things only come out by prayer and fasting, right? So by fasting, you break the cycle, which is actually break time. Because time is befallen. Time is just a repeat. So the flesh is in time, befallen, to fall. A divided mind. A division. Mother Earth is a division. Why is it a division place of division? People hate that. All the people who learn to decode, they say, why is it a division? Why are you in division? Because they're not in the spirit mind. The, the, the unity is in the spirit mind. The division is in the flesh mind. The natural realm, the reason there's a division in the natural realm is because the natural realm is a birthing realm. And so when you have two cells, they have to divide to make a new cell, right? There's one cell, it divides into two. One cell divides into two. A man and woman have a baby, creates another one. The division is a multiplication. So multiplication, division is just an inverse, right? Be fruitful and multiply. So the multiplication, the division, it's all a reproduction. And the woman and the man has the reproduction cycle built into them. Reproduce. And so everything's just an image of what's happening in the human body, in the, the male, the female, the union, the oneness, the unity. It's, it's all just repeating. And so it's out in front of you. What's outside is inside. And so the way you decode the letters is you use the hologram, but you also go back to the original meaning behind the letter. And the letter A goes back to the bullock. And the bullock was used as a blood sacrifice. The letter M goes back to water in the Phoenician script. The letter E is a little bit harder, but the E is the hidden hand. The hidden hand is the letter E. Because the hidden hand is the spirit. As the wind blows, you don't see the wind, but you see the result of it. When the wind's blowing, you can see the trees moving, you can see uh, grass moving, paper moving, leaves moving. You can see stuff moving when the wind's blowing, but you can't see the wind. Same with the spirit. You know something's happening. You know something's happening in the spirit realm. You know something's controlling the natural realm, which is the spirit realm. It's an unseen realm. So the unseen realm is behind the natural realm. So it's all a type and a shadow. So when you type on a typewriter, it's types, a typeset. So actually what you're doing every day is you're typing into your life. You're typing into your world. You're, you're typesetting. And that's why types and shadows and anti-types and you got flash and anti-flash and you got Wally Cody and Roadrunner. You got the flesh mind versus spirit mind. The flesh always persecutes the spirit. Those are the zombies. Those are the vampires. And we used to all be that way, but we're moving out of that into the spirit mind, which is oneness and love and truth and faith and stillness and just being the flesh minds always got to do something they got to work hard they got to do this they got to touch not taste not they got to follow this rule they got to follow the ten commandments and i'm not saying it's a bad thing to but it's to, but the purpose of the commandments is to show you that you can't do it that it's a spiritual power so you got to die you got to die to the natural and live in the spirit you got to die to the natural and live in the spirit. Because if you try to do it in the energy of the flesh or the energy of the na or the ma plane, the material plane, material will double cross you. M A T T, double cross. So the matter What's the matter? Matter. Somebody says, "What's the matter with you?" Matter. M A T T. People will double cross you. you. You will double cross yourself. The system will double cross you. Any expectation in the natural, you will actually, it will not always work out. So you have to realize that you have to approach all this stuff from the spirit plane. And so when you approach it from the spirit plane, it always works out. 
when you try, have you noticed when you try too hard to do something, it doesn't work out. But when you rest, it flows. Just like the blood has to flow for the woman, the menstrual cycle, there has to be flow to get a birthing. Whether it's investing, whether it's rentals, whether it's uh, whatever it is, you have to have a flow, right? The flow. There has to be a flow to have a, have a harvest, have a birthing, have a reproduction, have a produce. To have some produce, you got to flow. Have to reproduce, you got to flow. To have a baby, there has to be a flow. To have, to, to have anything reproduce and multiply, there has to be a flow. The currency flows between the bankers. The current flows between the banks. Let me say it again. The currency flows between the bankers. The current flows between the banks. The blood has to flow. So everything's based on the blood flow in your body. If your blood stops flowing, you die. So when you go up to a stop sign, you're flowing, but you stop and the stop sign is red. So red represents the blood and I'm decoding it holographically. When you hit your brake lights, you're slowing down, you're stopping. Why? Because everything is the type and the anti-type. So if I stop, my brake lights have to be red because red is the blood. The letter A is the blood. M is the flow. M is the sine wave, the, the cycle. Time is not linear. Time is a cycle. Why is time a cycle? Because the earth plane, the earth realm, is a birthing realm. The birthing plane. And so that's what's happening. So you decode it by going back to Phoenician script. If you want to go back to Sumerian and all that, it's, it's going to be harder. But Phoenician is the, is the source of the language. If you want to decode it, go back to Phoenician script. But you also have to use the hologram and you also have to use the script. Your script, scripture. Doesn't matter if you believe the Bible or not, it's right there. Why not use it? Use it as your litmus test. Everything has to have a litmus test. The script, you're in a script, you're in a 3D script, just like when you read a, a book, there's a 2D codex book, it's a 2D script. So you're in a 3D book, and you know you're in a 3D book because you're gonna be judged by the things done in the body. It is written. So if you're gonna be judged by a book, it means you're in a book. And that means if you're, if you're in the word, you're a character of the word. So when you spell a word out, W-O-R-D, R is a character. D is a character. They call, hey, he's a strange character. He's a strange bird. Why? Because he's a character in the word. Because everything is the word. Every object is an object lesson from the word. The logos, lo and behold, G, the operating system. So the operating system is the word. And so you're a character in the Word, and all these objects are object lessons to turn you back to source, which is the Word. In the beginning was the Word, the Word was with God, and the Word was God. The Word is the source code. Our source is S-O-U-R-C-E. C-E is the spirit wall. And so you're being turned back to source, but if you want to see... the code first to be able to do it all you had to do is break a word into parts and by breaking a word into parts you're doing the same thing that CERN is doing the scientists but you're doing it without having to build a 10 million dollar 20 billion dollar uh, electron loop you just cut the words into parts and you go back to source so what and actually you actually when you hit source you're you're a part of source and things revolve around source, right? So you're gonna have higher synchronicity. When you hit source code, you're gonna have high synchronicity because you're tied to the source. Because you know it's a hologram and you know there's no such thing as the time, as time past or present, everything is the now. And so since that's why I did that video, everything is the now. So if everything is the now, everything that you need is right now. It's all around you, right now. live in the now because there is nothing else but the now the problem was solved before it hits you at source 
If you realize you're a source right now, you'll find a solution. No matter what it is.